So remember the show that we did um, that not only was it an interesting show for many reasons, it was also an interesting lesson in business process. Um, and for the, for the sake of not furthering any weird stereotype, cultural stereotypes or anything, we're not going to say which embassy we were performing at. Yeah. Um, but we were invited to perform at an embassy right. uh, in D.C., and it was kind of last minute. It was yeah. like a week. Uh, you were asked to do this. Maybe they had another performer that fell through. I think so. And uh, this was, yeah, it was a week out at yeah. a time where normally I would have been getting a deposit. Yeah. Uh, I mean, this was not early in, in our performing time. This was... Um, yeah, you but we, you happened to be available at that time, and yep. so you... you uh, just you, you were going to forego the deposit. They didn't right. have Venmo then. Sure. Um, yeah. yeah. There's you know, no time to cut a check. That's right. all we right. had. Um, yeah. So we we get there and they can't get the gate open. Yeah. So yeah, we get there. The gate's locked, and I'm calling the contact, yeah. and she's not picking up. Right. And I don't remember. Yeah. The, step one was breaking into an embassy or just, yeah. you know, yeah, talking for, our way into right. the embassy. Like, no, I promise, we're real magicians. And right. Um, so then we get there. What a weird cover story. If you were yeah. trying to break into an embassy and like, like oh, we need, to, we need to scan your items. Oh, you can. It's magic. <laughs> you know, the, the secret. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we get in and our contact tells us that out of cultural sensitivity, we are not allowed to use the word magic. Right. Because magic is illegal in this country that we are right. now in, you know, at, at an embassy on their soil. Right. Um, so... That we were being billed as a children's trickster, so we've had an entire, which is fine, but you, you've kind of gotten, uh, you have a script in your head, more or less, or at least the the way you say things that, um, yeah, uh, and it certainly, well, ironically, the explorer of the impossible would have had a much better time there, right? But this was at a time before you know we were really distancing ourselves from just saying. You know, I'm a magician and I'm awesome. Right. Uh, you know, yeah. It, it, we it, brought it, a big sign along that said Shazam Magic that yeah, hung behind yeah. us and we couldn't put it up. And they were like, no, it says magic. Like, you'll be arrested for doing, like, black magic in right. this country. And we're like, okay, that's fine. Um, there was some... Um, we got a brief explanation on how we were to respect the dignitaries at this embassy. Right. Um, which I won't go into again. You right. Know, uh, but... Um, that, you know, that made sense. We wanted to, you know, support that. But sure. so you go through this whole show. Well, I'm trying to remember. I remember there was discussion about we were doing a, at the time a trick with all of the Harry Potter books. Oh, yeah. And was... is even mentioning Harry Potter allowed? And I think that was as long as we didn't use the word magic. You can talk about Harry Potter. Yeah. I don't think we can say he was a wizard. Uh, I do know. Uh, the the magic wands was a whole another conversation where oh, yeah. it was okay. I could as long as I didn't call them a magic wand. It's okay to have a, a yeah. wand. We're gonna um, use this tricky wish stick, right. and we're gonna make the tricky wishes happen. Right, and, you know. So that was that, and it was hilarious for me sitting backstage. Listening to Peter stumble over all of his patter right. because of everything you're used to saying, and it was you know clearly at the front of your mind, and we were you know we, we sure. didn't know what the consequences were for <laughs> slipping up. Probably not beheading, but yeah, you know, but maybe I wouldn't rule it out. Technically, you know. we're on their soil where the yep. rules of the United States don't apply. Right, so right. you know, so then we uh, <laughs> we did the show. It went, it went it went as well as it could have gone. You know, sure. wonderful you know audience that. Um, Seemed to enjoy the show and we packed up and left. Yeah. And <clears throat> I remember saying, oh, oh, they couldn't, they couldn't cut the check. Mm -hmm. um, it's always weird to get paid like as you leave. But, um, you know, they, they, there was an issue, you know, they're having a big, they're having this big social event. Sure. So like all the people that would have written the checks, like they couldn't because they were, they were like drinking or whatever. Right. Um, so we were like, okay, well, I guess. <clears throat> You guys are probably credible. You're an embassy, you know, right. and, and you're a whole country. Yeah, you're a whole country. You, you That's clearly fine. are good for it. So, like, we leave, and I remember uh, that day we happened to be meeting a friend of mine 
who's an attorney. Yeah. Um, and I was like, hey, just curious, uh, if this embassy decides to stiff us, what repercussion, what recourse do we have? And he was like, uh, basically none. Uh, you, you know, like, yeah, it, it would be talking to our ambassador to their country. And, you know, it's an international issue at that <laughs> point. And I was like, wow, like, you know, that's that's crazy. But uh, I'm sure the check's in the mail. Um, sure. So six months later. Yeah. And, I with mean, a lot of back and forth. The, the, there was uh, uh, there were a couple of phone calls to the contact, and then eventually those didn't get yeah. answered, and the emails stopped being answered. Yeah, um, and the finally, presumably, what what did it was a, a a a letter that I wrote to that country's ambassador, yeah. basically saying it would be a real shame if. This was how th this was the experience that Matt and I right w the takeaway that we had from from uh, from you yeah and I think within a week of that uh, a check showed up there it was diplomacy you yeah. Know? Um, yeah that was a good lesson in uh, business diplomacy culture uh, for us so yeah well and, uh, and now what I sort of hesitate the fact that we are telling you this story now. There is dollar value to put on that, right? Oh yeah, like, absolutely. It was totally worth whatever you know interest you could have made in six months, right. or you know. Yeah, I'm yeah. glad we eventually got um, paid, uh, and 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 like you say, definitely lesson learned in terms of I have used that example with other well intent intended clients right. who have have given me some pushback for it, and and say, look. As soon as the show is over, we literally have no recourse. It's not like a product that we can uh, take back from you. It's not a product that we can stop giving you service for. So we yeah. have to um, have it in, you know. Uh, it's like an education. <laughs> right, Our sure. show is like an education. There you go. You can't take it back. Yeah. Why would you? <laughs> <laughs>